Rudd was 37, a marketing consultant, and, as he liked to boast, rarely sick. He chalked up the dull ache in his belly last Tuesday to leftover takeout sushi. By Thursday morning, he couldn't stand up straight. I just need to sleep it off, he muttered, curled on his couch, sweat slicking his forehead. When his girlfriend, Lena, walked in during lunch break, she took one look at him and grabbed her keys. Get in the car. No, it was probably gas. Gas doesn't make your skin gray, Jason. At the ER, as the doctor examined his abdomen, he screamed. Two hours, one CT scan, and a wildly abnormal white blood cell count later, the surgeon leaned over him. Perforated appendix, he said grimly. Probably ruptured over 24 hours ago. You're lucky she dragged you in. I knew it wasn't the sushi. Jason wheezed, his humor weaker than usual. The surgery went longer than expected. The infection had spread and the cleanup was tedious, but Jason pulled through. Three days in recovery and a week on IV antibiotics gave him time to think, especially when Lena showed up every morning with coffee and a scowl that melted into a smile. Next time you feel a little off, she said, you'll tell me, right? Jason nodded, sheepish. Next time, I'll call you before the pain hits 8 out of 10. She leaned in and kissed his forehead. Good, because I'm not planning to lose you over something the size of a worm. Jason laughed and winced. Noted, appendixes are not to be underestimated. If you enjoyed the story, subscribe, like, and turn on notification for more on the Medical Frontline Chronicles.